Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Anthropology. Thank you for joining me in today's video. This one will be quite exciting. If you've never seen my face before, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay on this channel. If you're a returning viewer, subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you enjoy this one as well. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about something that's sort of a good secret when it comes to shopping, not only luxury, but also jewelry, also just in general shopping brands like Uniqlo and that is shopping in the kids section. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the benefits of shopping in the kids section. Obviously, it will be restrictive because the sizes are made for children. So ready to wear is a bit more restrictive, but when it comes to jewelry, when it comes to accessories, the kids section is honestly the place to be. So if you're looking for a video where you can figure out on how to save money potentially, how to find really cute designs at less cost than adult prices, Keep watching. So shopping in the kids section as an adult is nothing new. If anything, in 2021, uh, March specifically, there was a fad going around Chinese social media where adult women were going into Uniqlo specifically, trying on children's sizes, showing how their small petite bodies were fitting into children's clothes, which were less expensive, often had really cute designs on them, and just generally provided a better fit for their body shapes. Now, this created a multitude of uh, conversations around body image, body positivity, obviously like how thinness is representative of like culture and popular culture or lack thereof. And I feel like what we've seen recently, obviously the ozempification of celebrities where we are back from, instead of it being heroin chic, it's now ozempic chic, where we moved away, it seems, as a Western society primarily from body positivity to more acceptance and promotion of thinness within celebrity culture. If you look at all the Real Housewives, if you will look at a lot of celebrities, even up to Oprah, Ozempic seems to have made everybody thinner in some ways. Obviously there's a lot of complications that come with Ozempic and that's not gonna be the topic of this video, but it's relevant to understand how the kids area of shopping has sort of evolved away from just being for children primarily to now it's opened itself up to be for anyone that can fit it. So I have a few points that I want to talk about today. I won't be talking specifically about the articles, but I want to just talk about the benefits that I found as someone that is generally more petite than the average man, I would say, and this is like relevant to a lot of Asian women or people that are just generally more petite than the standard sizing, whatever that may be. And primarily looking at jewelry and accessories as a way to get into the luxury market or to get really nice things at a lesser cost because of how the marketing is set up. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. My first point that I wanna to touch on is often you can get cuter designs at lower prices. And what I mean by that, especially in relation to jewelry and accessories is I got this polar bear pearl and sterling silver necklace from Burks uh, for Christmas from my partner. And this is a part of the kids section. The Burks kids section is overflowing with really cute designs often for under $500 for silver and fine jewelry and this necklace was $180 Canadian before tax and what you receive for it is beautiful in my opinion you can get earrings you can get necklaces you can get bracelets of different pearl and silver jewelry and you can also get mixed enamels and it's really, the kids section sort of opens you up to really cute designs that may not be marketable for adults in the same way, such as animal-based pearl jewelry. Obviously it seems more children, it seems more playful, but when I showed my mom even, she was like, oh my God, I love that. And she ended up getting the reindeer earrings, which I think is like the kids section allows brands to be more playful, obviously because children are more playful, more colorful, like more graphic design and stuff like that, but often like adults like that as well. And what we get in the adult assortments is often more, especially when it comes to jewelry, it's more like refined, it's sleeker, but sometimes we still want to be playful. And since they're in the kids section, they are less money because they're marketed 
towards children primarily, um, whereas adults seem to get the markup. And if you look at like the breakdown, it's like women's gets the most markup, then men's, then children. So it's very interesting how brands decide to price their product and their assortments, especially when you can find similar products in kids to adults. And Essence is a really good website in order to look at the differences of what it would cost for a children's good compared to an adult's good. And Dolce & Gabbana um, has quite a few of their like Sicily bags, Miss Sicily bags, I'm not sure exactly what they're called, I'll put some on the screen here, but in the kids section they are a thousand dollars and less, when in reality for adults they're significantly more. Obviously the sizing is quite different, they're more mini bags for children, but the sentiment remains the same. You can find a really beautiful small leather good even for way less than it would cost for an adult piece, often in similar prints or similar colors to what are going on in the adult collections. And Chloe as well has a really good kids uh, section on Essence where you can find little bags for under $500. You can find sandals up to a size European 38, which is kind of, that's like a big foot if you think about it. Like I'm a EU 39 and I'm a grown man and they're offering EU 38 shoe sizes for children. My mom is a 36 and she shops Gucci kids. So you can find different areas where different brands will give different assortments for children. I've noticed brands have caught on to this because when I was at Nordstrom, I bought a Moclair, I think it was called the Maya jacket and they came in a size 16. 16 kids, I guess. And that fit me. It fit me great actually. And now looking on their website, it's up to a size 14 however that's up to 164 centimeters which is like my height so <laughs> if you think about it if you are smaller and you can fit into the children's clothes they're way cheaper because the Maya jacket from Montclair for children is 900 and something Canadian and it's well over 2000 for an adult one so there are different ways if you can get away with it, if you can fit it, the children's section is definitely the place to be. Marnie as well also has a very good children's assortment, um, especially in relation to accessories. You can find little pannier bags for a hundred and something dollars on Essence. And they're Marnie branded, they're Marnie mainline. They have a PVC tote as well that I just saw that's around a hundred and something. And they're full size bags just for children. Another one is Versace. Versace has a lot of small leather bags as well in very um, popular shapes and very trendy shapes such as hearts and stars, which we're seeing in the most current Chanel collection for under $1,000. And they're mainline Versace, but they're just marketed towards children. So in terms of my little shopping hack, if you're looking to save some money and if you can fit it, or if you're looking to purchase a gift and you can fit it, Look at the kids section. It's often really cute, very playful if that's your style and significantly less in terms of pricing. So that's my little hot tip for you right now. If you've shopped in the kids section, let me know what you've bought. I'm so curious to know wh how people like navigate shopping, especially in this era of price increase after price increase after price increase after price increase. It's different ways that we can manage to still shop, still find that joy from shopping and consuming and playing dress up, but in a more price conscious and accessible way, such as shopping in the kids section. So that's my video. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think down below and if you have any kids uh, hot tips. Obviously got to keep the market for the children, but we're coming too. So that's my video. Thank you for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys.